Everybody has things in life that they find more difficult, and I'm just exactly the same. Yes, I'm missing an arm, but that doesn't mean I'm any less than you. Everyone within our movement is working so hard to develop the Paralympic sport, and that's what you see now. You see the closeness of competition. I've won Grand Slams. I've beaten the best in the world. I know I can win. At that moment, I dared to believe that I could go to the Paralympic Games. Then we can change the world. I think this is the ultimate goal of the IPC. Get your seats, please. If you could take your seats, that would be fantastic. We will begin in a couple of minutes. Please take your seats. If you could take your seats, please, as soon as you can, that would be appreciated. It's time for the awards. And if you could come try a seat, we'll fill from the front backwards, if that would be, uh, that is my preferred approach. Take your seats, please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have some very, very good news for you. I am not presenting this evening. Yes! Okay, let's try that again. We need to bang on tables and cheer loudly. I am not presenting this evening. Hallelujah, says Andrew Parsons. Hurrah. Okay, so tonight, we, this is a good venue for acoustics. We need to create as much noise as possible for all the winners. So when we say the winner is, and we hear the name of the winner, there's a video, but feel free to go crazy and smash on the tables. We're gonna practice. Are you ready? The winner of best female is, Rita Van Riel. So, we need that level throughout all the awards, okay? Loud as possible, please. We want these to be the loudest awards we've ever had. And now, let's see a highlights video from the Pyeongchang Games, and I can go sit down.
like the amount of love that I felt whenever I crossed the line and heard the cheering and the relief that I felt. The gold is hers, and you can see exactly what that means to her. And Teo Gibber claims the hat trick. And he streams through the middle, and Kazakhstan are making their way towards an historic goal. It's flawless, absolutely flawless. These two are fantastic. You saw it, it happened. The Republic of Korea get their first ever Paralympic medal in para ice hockey. Oh, huge stack! Look at the sportsmanship. Bibi and mental speed looks back. She took a long look back to make sure that her friend was all right. This is friendship. This is love. Le Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for your hosts this evening, Jesse Schultz of Deutsche Welle. Good evening and welcome to the 2019 Paralympic Sport and Media Awards in partnership with Allianz. My name is Jessie Wingard, a Deutsche Welle journalist, and it has been my pleasure to attend and report on three Paralympic Games. To see firsthand the outstanding performances of Paralympians in many sports. This evening we will recognise not just the performances of Paralympians, but the media and one official as we look back and celebrate the fantastic achievements from the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Winter Games with the presentation of seven awards. We will also present the BP Courage Award to someone who has displayed immense courage to reach Pyeongchang 2018. But first, to welcome you this evening, please give a warm round of applause to IPC President Andrew Parsons and Allianz SE's Global Partnership Manager, Katharina Wirth. Good evening, everyone. It's great that we don't have Craig Spence presenting, huh? Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to those of you who attended the IPC conference. A warm welcome to those joining us, especially for the 2019 Paralympic Sport and Media Awards, which are proudly supported by Allianz. Tonight, as Jesse mentioned, 
We are celebrating the truly outstanding achievements from the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Winter Games, recognizing athletes, teams, officials, and the media. From a personal point of view, Pyeongchang 2018 were my first Paralympic Games as IPC president. And that highlights video brings back to me many, many happy memories, which I'm sure it does for you as well. The Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Winter Games were a record-breaking success. Huge thanks must go to the athletes, volunteers, officials, media, national Paralympic committees, international federations, IPC staff, and of course, the Pyeongchang 2018 Organizing Committee for all their efforts in setting new benchmarks for future hosts and delivering new horizons for the Paralympic movement. In terms of athletic performance, I was completely blown away by what I witnessed on snow and on ice in South Korea. A record 26 National Paralympic Committees won a medal and more nations than ever before won gold, including China, Croatia, Kazakhstan, and South Korea for the very first time. Another standout feature, feature of Pyeongchang 2018 was the media and broadcast coverage. Fair play to the photographers and written press for braving the harsh wintry weather, but your coverage reached millions around the world. Pyeongchang 2018 was also broadcast to more countries than ever before, resulting in a record cumulative audience of 1.87 billion people watching the Paralympic Games Paralympic Winter Games outside of the host nation. At the end of this evening, we will also present the BP Courage Award to one individual who displayed immense courage to participate in the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Winter Games. Courage is a value that both BP and the IPC share, and I strongly believe every Winter Paralympian is an example of courage in action. To finish, I would like to say a few words about our title sponsor, Allianz. It is because of the Paralympic Winter Games that Allianz first got involved with the Paralympic movement. After watching Paris Hockey at Torino 2006, they were hooked and soon became an IPC sponsor. In 2013, they signed as an international partner and I am absolutely delighted that from 2021 on, they will become a worldwide Paralympic partner supporting the Paralympic Games and in addition, multiple national Paralympic committee. We are truly grateful for your continued and tremendous support. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Allianz SA Global Sponsoring Manager, Katarina Wirt. Good evening, everyone. Dear Andrew, Dear IPC governing board members, dear athletes and representatives of the Paralympic movement, dear guests, thank you for having me here tonight. I feel honored and proud to represent Allianz at this wonderful gala. Tonight, we are assembled to pay tribute to outstanding personalities who drive the Paralympic movement. To me, this event has become a dear occasion but today's gala is also very special as we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the IPC this week. Therefore, let me personally say a big warm thank you to the IPC for being such a fair, trusted and true partner and for the past 13 years of growing together. Thank you, dear IPC, NPCs, LOCs leaders, for being energetic, restless drivers of the Paralympic movement and of our partnership. Thank you to all the wonderful team members of the IPC and our amazing national Paralympic committees for your loyalty, hard work, and continuous support. Looking back, we had the privilege to accompany an extraordinary story of growth and ongoing records. It is a pleasure to witness the rise of parasports across all levels. And as you know, the great things we've been doing together have inspired Allianz to further evolve our partnership and to become a worldwide partner as of 2021. We are looking forward to a very bright future together with the movement. And 
ultimately back to you, esteemed athletes, officials, and media representatives. We will celebrate you tonight for your outstanding achievement and your dedication, for your individual contributions to the story of growth, and for making our common vision come true to make for one inclusive world through para-sports. I am wishing us all a joyful evening full of emotion, pride, and inspiring conversations. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew and Katharina. It's now time for tonight's presentations. We'll start by recognizing the work of the world's media at Pyeongchang. The first media award in partnership with Allianz is for Best Written, which recognizes the highest quality and most dynamic written work in either print or online from the games. To present the award, please welcome three-time Paralympian and IPC governing board member, Tim Reddish. You, exciting. And the winner of Paralympic Media in the category Best Written is BBC Ouch. Collecting the award this evening from Tim Reddish on behalf of BBC Ouch is Beth Rose. Thank you and congratulations to Beth from our best written winner, BBC Ouch. <clears throat> the second media award this evening is for best broadcast which recognizes the best use of TV, live streaming, or radio during the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Games. This category was so tight, the IPC president had to cast the deciding vote. To present the award, please welcome IPC governing board member, Juan Pablo Salazar. And the winner of the Paralympic Media Award in the category of Best Broadcaster is NPC Ukraine. Collecting the award on behalf of NPC Ukraine is its president, Valery Shushkovich. <laughs> the 
Congratulations to Valerie and NPC Ukraine on winning Best Broadcast. The final media award this evening is for Best Photography. To present the award, please welcome IPC Governing Board Member, Rita Vandrill. What an honor. The winner of the Paralympic Media Award in the category of Best Photographer is Mathilde Dussault from the Netherlands. Congratulations to Matilda de Sol of NPC Netherlands for claiming the best photo prize. Congratulations to all our media winners for their outstanding work. Let's give them one last round of applause. It's now time to switch attention from those who covered the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympics to those who took part, namely the officials, teams and athletes. As we're going to ask a few questions from our sports winners, please welcome to the stage to lead the interviews, Australia's multi-Paralympic medalist and IPC Athletes Council member, Kurt Fernley. The first sport award tonight in partnership with Allianz is for Best Official. To present the award, please welcome to the stage IPC Governing Board Member, Devi Alexander. It's an honour to announce the winner of the Paralympic Sport Award in the category of Best Official, and the winner is Len Epdale from World Para Nordic Skiing. You can't escape too quickly, Len. I guess Con not. Congratulations on the award. Um, as an official, you don't really want people to recognise you, although when I, was, when I was naughty on those few occasions while I raced, you definitely made an impression. But you worked tire tirelessly behind the scenes to make, people, to make the event go off without a hitch. Uh, how does it feel tonight to be recognised in front of in front of the IPC? It is a bit daunting, I must admit, because yes, I prefer to be behind the scenes. Um, but it's a, it's a wonderful honor to be here uh, and accept this award. Um, I take a bit of exception with the name best official because I'm well aware that there are legions of very dedicated and exceptional officials that 
work to make these games so excellent. And um, it's a real honor to be selected from amongst that uh, large group. And, and I really do accept this on behalf of all of them. But it's an honor. So how did the paranautic skiing at the Pyeongchang 2018 games uh, compare to previous games? Well, every games, and this is my third game since Vancouver, um, is uh, an evolution and, and, and an improvement. And uh, uh, Pyeongchang was no exception. Um, we continued to move things to a different level. Um, we're particularly proud of uh, uh, the work we were doing with broadcast to, particularly with our sport, where we have six competitions a day and people go out on the trails for a long time and then come back and we often have overlapping competitions as well to pr be able to really um, arrange things in a way that we could tell the story. And I think we really succeeded in, in, in that uh, over and above uh, what we did in previous games. Um, but we had, uh, yeah, a really fabulous uh, effort by the whole organizing committee and team. And um, despite the inevitable challenges, that uh, we always face in these events. Um, it really was wonderfully successful and, and you can see that in, in the results and, and, and uh, in the accomplishments of the athletes. And there was no doubt accomplishment after accomplishment that was, that was noteworthy, but is there one highlight for you for 2018 from the games? There were many highlights, but I think one that stands out in particular because I did begin working with the Korean team four years out in advance um, uh, and the NPC. Uh, and and um, when we started, they didn't even have a, uh, an international federation for paranordic skiing. And um, at the games, uh, the performance in the men's 7.5 kilometer uh, uh, event, Uihun Sin, the Korean won their first ever gold medal, and that was a real highlight for me. Thank you. Thank you to World Paranautic Skiing's Len uh, Appendale, how have I gone? They've given an Australian the job of pronouncing everyone's name. Terrible choice. Close. Close, it's all right. That close. sounds like I failed miserably. But winner, winner of the best official, thank Len. Thank you very much, Kurt. Next up is the award for Best Games Debut. To present the award, please welcome back to the stage Allianz's Catalina Wirth, whilst we listen to a short video of the three nominees. The nominations for Best Debut are Giacomo Bertanoli and Guide Fabrizio Casal of Italy for winning two golds, one silver and one bronze in the alpine skiing. Mena Fitzpatrick and guide Jennifer Kehoe of Great Britain for their one gold, two silvers and one bronze medal in alpine skiing. Theo Gamore of Switzerland for taking home three Paralympic gold medals in alpine skiing. And the winner of the Paralympic Sport Award in the category of Best Games Debut is Italy's Giacomo Bertagnoli and his guide Fabrizio Casal. It's Giacomo Bertagnoli, super combined world champion. 5.08 is the margin for the Winter Paralympic champion. He now completes the set, a silver, a bronze, and now a gold medal.
Congratulations to the both of you. I like, I like your style. You're still, uh, still in tandem. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> Jacob, <laughs> Jacoma, I imagine that going into your first games, you were probably feeling a little more nervous than usual uh, before races. I know my first race in the Paralympic 20 years ago, I was terrified. But what was it like at, at uh, Pyeongchang? Oh, yeah. Uh, while I was wait going to Pyeongchang, yeah. I was very scared about uh, what's going on. L all right. It's the same right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it, just let me a sec give me a second to breathe. So when I was in Pyeongchang, I remember that uh, I was so scared. But then um, the, the day of the first race, I, I wasn't scared at all. And I wasn't nervous too, because um, I knew that I was there for one reason, and that reason was that uh, all uh, all what I do before to improve my skills and myself, uh, and when I was there it was the moment to show to myself and to the other to all all the other all the people are watching me how could be fast. <laughs> 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 uh, it, it wasn't like that, but I, I wanted to have one of them, but I can't read, so it's, it's what, difficult. <laughs> you wanted uh, to uh, have your uh, own uh, card? So You're not taking mine? No. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I wasn't scared, but uh, I was sure about my performance and, and did well. You did well. Yeah, did better than today. <laughs> you, you're doing great. You're doing great. Oh, yeah. uh, to, to say you did well is an understatement. How did it feel at the end? Once you've got through all those nerves, how did it feel at the end to go away with so many medals? Oh, um, I felt like um, heavy neck. Yeah, heavy. <laughs> but, and I cannot wait to, yeah. to go home because uh, uh, I was missing all my friends, all my family. And then I remember one thing, I had to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. it was, but it was great because yeah, I me had too. Four, four medals. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Fabrizio, uh, what was the reaction of, of your friends when you returned home with two Paralympic gold medals? But actually, at first, uh, and uh, I think I thought uh, we wouldn't have uh, many friends at all after returning home because uh, we were just training, training, training all the time uh, before Paralympics, and then. Uh, it was uh, so an, an amazing uh, thing that uh, they came uh, to the airport in the middle of the, of the night. Uh, so crazy and uh, with this uh, great excitement. And it was uh, really a moment uh, that, uh, you know, to, to remember for uh, all the life. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Giacomo, Thank you winner of Best Day Boo, together with his guide, Fabrizio. Congratulations, guys. Great to meet you. Congratulations. Give them another round of applause. Up next is the accolade for best team. To present the best team award, please welcome IPC governing board member, Sung Yu Kim, as we take a look at the outstanding nominations. The nominations for best team are China wheelchair curling team, for gold in wheelchair curling at the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Winter Games. South Korea Para Ice Hockey Team for winning bronze at their home games. USA Para Ice Hockey Team for their third successive Paralympic gold medal in Para Ice Hockey.
and winner of the Paralympic Sport Award in the category of best team is China's wheelchair curling team. China are the gold medalists here in the wheelchair curling event at the Gangnam Curling Center. Thank you, Niao. Thank you, Niao. I'm, uh, I'm delighted that uh, Haitao, uh, my pronunciation I'm, I'm working on, but I know that it is uh, the, uh, the waves of the sea. So, uh, okay, captain of the Chinese gold medal winning wheelchair curling team to be with us tonight to accept the award. Was the gold medal expected uh, when you were leading into Pyeongchang? Now, to expect that, uh, you know, at, before we uh, come to the competition, we do a lot of work to uh, try our best to get the best score. That is what we saw before the games. And how was the reaction after the games when you went back home, when you went back home with China's first ever uh, uh, winter, winter Games gold medal? Uh,得到金牌之后,回到家乡,这是第一次中国拿到东厂会的金牌,呃,回国之后有什么反应?回去之后,呃,我们的领导都非常的高兴,要感谢我们的领导。uh, very exciting from the high uh, rank of the official, even to the friend of the back home, some classmates or some friends, very exciting about that. So we uh, must thank for our government and for our people support us and uh, our teammates. That is uh, what we go back home, uh, the reaction. And now, you're, we're, we're three years out, but with Beijing 2022 on the horizon, can we expect more medal success for China? Uh, in uh, tw uh, 2022, uh, in our, uh, our hometown, uh, we expect uh, not only for the wheelchair curling, the other sport of the China team can score uh, more uh, medal. That is what we think, but uh, it depends on our hard working, hard training. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, China's Thank you. wheelchair curling team, the winner of the best team award. Thank you. Congratulations. Keep the applause coming for China's wheelchair curling team. The penultimate sport award this evening is for best male. To present the award, please show your appreciation as we welcome three-time Paralympian and IPC governing board member, Muffy Davis. Here are the nominations. The nominations for best male are Daniel Knosen of the USA. His haul from Pyeongchang included one gold, four silvers and one bronze medal in Nordic skiing. Benjamin Davier of France. 
He won three gold and two silver medals in Nordic skiing. Brian McKeever of Canada. The vision impaired skier took home three gold medals in cross country skiing, led by guides Graham Nishikawa and Russell Kennedy. And the winner of the Paralympic Sport Award in the category Best Male is Francis Benjamin Davier. Davier managed to beat Reptrick's time by just 6.5 seconds. So the gold medal was won by Benjamin Davier of France. Benjamin, those moments, those moments are in those moments are incredible, but um, what went through your mind when you won your first Paralympic gold medal? Uh, yeah, c'est vrai que j'étais vraiment très heureux de, bah, de tout l'investissement, le travail que, que j'ai fourni pendant pendant quatre ans. I was truly very happy for all the the work and investment that I put in for the last four years. Je me suis vraiment pas ménagé, et, ni mes proches, ma famille, mes entraîneurs. Je suis quelqu'un de difficile à vivre. Et, et du coup, euh, c'est quelque chose de, de vraiment euh, inexplicable et, et vraiment euh, juste incroyable de, de ramener autant de médailles. I didn't spare myself or my loved ones, uh, nor my coaches. I'm not an easy person to work with, <laughs> but it's something uh, unexplainable and truly incredible to bring home so many medals. You've had you've had an amazing an amazing run since. You've almost become unbeatable at World Championships this year. What's made the biggest difference for you? Uh, la différence c'est que je suis quelqu'un de, de très ambitieux. Je m'entraîne, je fais environ 700 heures par an de de, de physique. Je m'entraîne dans mon salon à faire de la position avec ma carabine. Um, I'm someone who's truly very ambitious, very hardworking. Um, I train 700 hours per year. Uh, in my living room, I do some shooting sessions. C'est autant vous dire que c'est des séances qui sont pas simples du tout. C'est très très long. Tu te sens seul au monde, mais après le résultat, on, on a pu voir et ça paye et, et ça c'est une récompense qui est inestimable. It's uh, it's not always easy. It's sometimes lonely, but all the all the work is worth it when you see this reward uh, right here. It's sometimes lonely when you're doing shooting sessions in your living room. <laughs> that makes <laughs> sense. Look, oui, on se sent très seul et c'est très long et très pénible, mais on n'a pas le choix. Very lonely, very long, but we don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Away from winter sport now, and Paris uh, will be hosting the Paralympics in 2024, and it launched its emblem uh, this week. What can we expect on that, based on how you are now seen and treated as an athlete there? Eh ben, en tant que athlète français, je suis déjà très heureux euh, que Paris 2024 ait, ait les Jeux. As a French athlete, I'm already extremely happy that Paris 24. 2024 has the games. De faire un emblème commun entre les Olympiques et les Paralympiques, c'est quelque chose de unique au monde et, et j'espère que ça va donner aussi la voie pour pour les futurs Jeux Paralympiques et Olympiques de réunir le même symbole. To do a common Olympic and Paralympic emblem is truly unique, and I hope it uh, paves the way for future games to do the same. Okay. Et comme on peut voir aussi sur le logo. En fait, c'est la signe d'une médaille avec euh, la médaille d'or, bien sûr. 
le, la Marianne et la flamme euh, des jeux. Et tout ça, ça forme un visage euh, d'une femme. Et voilà, c'est quelque chose de très représentatif pour la France. To explain a bit the emblem, it's a gold medal, a flame, and the face of a woman, uh, so depicts the face of a woman. So very representative of France. Thank you. Benjamin, uh, congratulations once again. And can we congratulate the winner of the best male? The final Paralympic Sport Award in partnership with Allianz is for Best Female. To announce the winner, please welcome back to the stage IPC President Andrew Parsons as we take a look at the nominees. The nominations for Best Female are Marie Bochet of France, the Paralympic champion in four alpine skiing events. Henrietta Farkasova and guide Natalia Subtova of Slovakia. The duo picked up four golds and one silver in the vision impaired alpine skiing races. Oksana Masters of the USA. She took home two golds and two silvers in Nordic skiing despite suffering a serious elbow injury. And the winner of the Paralympic Sport Award in the category of Best Female is Enriqueta Farkasova and her guide Natalia Sultrova. Okay. Henrietta, uh, what's your reaction to winning yet another, another award? Ďakujem veľmi pekne v prvom rade za toto ocenenie. Som veľmi šťastná z neho a vážim si to. Je to určite ocenenie mojej dlhoročnej práce, tak moje ako aj samozrejme mojho týmu. Thank you very much. I'm really happy that I can be here and I received this uh, award and it really is an appreciation of my of work of my team and uh, of myself. You, uh, you, you, you joined an all-star cast at Monaco at the, the Laureus Sports Awards, Awards last March, winning the top sports person of the year with the disability. What was the highlight for you, uh, rubbing shoulders with some of the biggest names in world sports? Tak určite najväčším highlightom bolo získanie samotného ocenenia a veľkým zážitkom bolo samozrejme stretnúť najlepších športovcov sveta na jednom mieste, ktorí sú pre mňa takisto motiváciou svojimi výkonmi, takže bol to veľký zážitok po každej stránke. Probably the biggest highlight was to receive the award for me and also to meet all the perfect athletes that was there and to have a chance to speak with them, to meet with them and because they were they were motivating me all my life. You're from a part of uh, Slovakia with, with no mountains. Uh, what has motivated you to come this far? Je pravda, že pochádzam z oblasti, kde nie sú hory, ale lyžovanie je mojou vášňou a mám rada rýchlosť adrenalína. Stále chcem prekonávať seba svoje limity, takže to ma poháňa vpred. 
that's true that I'm, I'm uh, not from the part of Slovakia where it's mountains, but uh, I'm still trying to push myself. I'm trying to be better every day, so that's motivate me to go faster and I'm then pushing my adrenaline up. Henrietta, congratulations on your award. You're a deserving winner and an another award to a long list of achievements. So thank you and if we can all congratulate Henrietta. Thank you. Congratulations to Henrietta on her latest award. It's now time for the BP Courage Award. To present the, the award and say a few words on behalf of BP, please welcome Sebe Kiriku, BP's Head of Paralympic Partnerships. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as an international partner of the IPC and on behalf of BP here in Germany, where we have been operating for over 125 years, we are delighted to present the 2019 BP Courage Award. The BP Courage Award aims to recognize an individual, team, or organization that fulfills at least one of the following three criteria the inner strength to redefine their own possibilities, the impact on perception of what others may deem unexpected, and thirdly, the resilience to truly excel in the face of challenges. The award was first presented to Sir Philip Craven on behalf of the Paralympic movement at the event to mark 25 years of the IPC. There have been two winners since. In 2015, it was awarded to Bibian Mental Speed of the Netherlands, and in 2017, to Amar Hadi Ali of Iraq. We're delighted this evening to announce the winner of the 2019 BP Courage Award. The Iranian Elahe Golifala is a shining example of an athlete who has called upon her energy within to redefine her own possibilities and demonstrate resilience to truly excel in the face of challenges. Elahi Golifala is the first Iranian female athlete to qualify for the Paralympic Winter Games. Guided by Fazane Reza Soltani, she competed in the women's cross-country sprint vision impaired in Pyeongchang, finishing in 11th position. She lost her sight following a brain tumor at the age of five and made her sporting debut in athletics at 12. Despite all the problems she had to face due to living in a city where persons with disabilities were sidelined, she never gave up on her dreams and kept on fighting in the face of challenges. She is now a pioneer and a role model. The influence she has exerted over the people of her town has been undoubtedly remarkable. Three people have become involved with cross-country skiing alone, thanks to her so far. Please join me in congratulating Elahe Golifala, winner of the 2019 BP Courage Award.
Would you like me to take you away? I can hold it for a second. Congratulations, Elahe, on winning the BP Courage Award. What does this uh, What does this award mean to you? Good evening, everyone. Uh, this award means that um, when 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 IPC has selected me as a bravest girl, uh, it means that uh, IPC put uh, some responsibilities uh, on my shoulder. So uh, I should be uh, brave, braver than this. I should try more and more. Uh, IPC and uh, Parliament Committee uh, really um, made me uh, motivated, really uh, gave me more positive energy. So now I have to uh, make motivated the other blind. I have to give positive energy to all other blind IPC and uh, Paralympic Committee. Uh, really encourage, encourage me with this act. Now I, I have to encourage the other blind, other athletes. And I hope to be better and better in our life. So uh, we will come over to our uh, obstacles together. Thank you so much. You have, uh, you have no doubt there's been a few, uh, a few challenges in the road. What has been your biggest challenge and, and what have you been able to learn from it? Uh, one of the big challenges was uh, sight. When I lost my sight, I understood that my life has changed. So I decided to try more and more, and I decided to fight against obstacles. Uh, and I understood that uh, I entered the other world without any sight. I understood, I understood that really there is no such a thing as sight for me. Okay, what should I do now? My life is passing, so I have to pass my life in a better way that I can. So um, I, <laughs> I continued my life uh, with some people around me, like my family, like my coaches, like uh, they are Paralympic Committee, like IPC, Le really thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. No. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what's next. But Fazan, now you, uh, you've made a transition from Olympic athlete into Paralympic guide. How have you found that? I think it's um, a really a great uh, trans, uh, uh, trans uh, and uh, I really like uh, to uh, be um, uh, to uh, encourage other uh, um, blind people or uh, other uh, people to uh, do exercise and uh, take part in uh, competitions. And uh, but I think Elahe is really um, great and uh, she. Uh, did well, very well. Congratulations, Ella Goli so Fala, the winner of the BP Courage Award. Congratulations. We are now at the end of tonight's 2019 Paralympic Awards. 
On behalf of the IPC, I'd like to thank tonight's sponsors, Allianz, for their continued support and BP for the presentation of the Courage Award. Congratulations to all the winners and nominees. I think they deserve another round of applause. In a moment, I'd like to invite all winners back on stage for a group photograph. But first, I need to inform everyone that dinner will be served shortly in the foyer and in room Vienna. But to finish off, here's a look ahead at Tokyo 2020. Thank you all and have a wonderful evening.